My name is Jeremy Vanderwall. I'm an associate professor at James Cook University, but I'm a researcher. I look at the impacts of climate change on species, their distributions, and how abundant they are through time. Three main functions to Edgar. Firstly, anyone can go to the site, see where the species has been observed. Secondly, they can see where it's likely to be in the future. Lastly, for bird watchers, um, those people that, even if you're an amateur, you know where your species are. If it, you can help us clean that data. So you can log in, you can see where the species are, have been observed, recorded. But if there's something wrong about it, you can make comment and we get that feedback. This then is used to improve the models, improve the future predictions. I'm Stephen Garnett. I'm Professor of Conservation and Sustainability at Charles Darwin University. What Edgar is doing is bringing together this data set of, of bird locations from across Australia for the, for the modelling of what might happen under climate change. I've, I've worked on quite a number of birds myself over the years and of course as soon as you get a tool like Edgar the first thing you do, do is go and look at your birds to see if the records are right. And, and a number of them I found records that I thought were a little suspicious and I was able to go back in and, and make comment. Uh, sometimes the scale's wrong, sometimes people are, are so wanting to see a rare bird that they tick it and send the record in and, and it's not checked properly. And, and they throw out our, our modelling if they're, if they're done incorrectly. So I've, I've checked quite a few. My team, I'm, most of my team will have checked the birds that they know well. But we don't know all the birds. And so the good thing about this is you just send the website to someone and they can look up their bird to see if those records are correct. And it means it's all done just once. There's many databases I've been over and over and over uh, because the, the corrections aren't added in, the, the comments aren't included and aren't passed on. And this is a chance to do it once properly and have a data set that will go down through, be valid for many years. We've got plans to use it for not only birds, but quite a few different species. It'll allow people then, not only those bird watchers, but people that are interested in um, mammals, amphibians, reptiles, but also plants, to see where things have been reported and see where they're likely to be in the future. ANS has been absolutely vital. I started this project developing it myself. I'm not a developer. I am a researcher. And so ANS has enabled me to take what I had as an idea and bring it through to something that is functional and people can actually use. And so without it, it would have never gotten to that stage.